Hola, everybody. It's Nitpick. And today I am listening to a suggestion that I got a lot on my bandmade videos of Unlucky Morpheus. I am going to be listening to Black Pentagram today. So I'm really excited. I have heard some things about there being a violin in here and I'm really stoked about that. Believe it or not, I'm a flutist, but I also played violin for about six years of my life. It's an instrument I'm pretty proficient in, so I'm kind of excited to hear some violin, so let's just get into it. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. So before we get into that next verse, coming out guns blazing with that double pedal and that, uh, that scream, just do we get that double bass? It's ripping into your soul and it just creates so much tension. And then all of a sudden there's a release. And what's so neat is I can hear the violin. It's, it's coloring the sound. The violin has a different timbre than that of like electric guitar and bass and obviously percussion, but that timbre cuts through just ever so slightly and I can hear it a little bit but what's interesting is I can hear it the most because the violin I believe is playing harmony with the vocal line which is really really lovely it colors the singer's voice just a little bit and then there's like a little part of the violin that's actually adding interlude when she's not singing I want to go back to experience that heart rattling double bass drum and i want to see if i can point out the violin if you can hear it god see right there da, 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 da. Da, da. I love the underlying growl screaming that's happening underneath. Now, listen carefully for the violin. See, never play with the voice. voice. The screaming. Yes, the violin. Dude. I 
I love that. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I, I shouldn't interrupt it, but I, I I better not get carried away. Whoever it is in the band, obviously they're not showing who it is, but you can hear the the growling voice underneath her singing voice, and it's it's just a nice color to add to the like texture because it adds like this sour and sweet feeling, I guess, or happy and angry. Because her timbre voice, speaking of which. She has a more traditional sounding professional vocal voice. What I mean by that is like, if you listen to a pop singer, they don't use that kind of vibrato in their music. It's usually vibrato in pop music is a color. Like they add it to add a little spice, so to speak. But she is singing and it's like operatic. Now, I do love the color of the violin within the group she's moving all over the f the fingerboard like she's shifting like she's in first position and then she's in fourth position and then possibly in fifth position or sixth like she's up there let's go over here Her voice has just got a different timbre and then her vibrato. I love, yeah, see, all the way up in like fourth position. Her vocals add so much energy to this band. I love the chord progression that they use there. immediately if you've never heard of a harpsichord so back in the baroque era back in the baroque era they used a instrument that was similar to a piano but it didn't have sustain instead of like a piano has a hammer so every time you punch you press a button it hammers a string and it vibrates and it'll stop vibrating once you release the key a harpsichord works in that it has strings every time you press a key a string is so it has this more twang versus a hammered sound. And it's neat because the guitar solo has a harpsichord either overlay or underlay. I would assume it's underneath the solo because the solo is taking precedence. Also, the soloist, I'm not saying it's easy. If you're one of my students and you found my channel and you're watching this, I want you to know the solo that they're doing is literally arpeggios. And how many times have I told you to practice arpeggios? A lot. And guess what? They made it sound cool. They made it sound like it's a really hard thing to do, which on their instrument it probably is. But on our instrument, it's fun. It's easy. You should practice them because look at how impressive it sounds. They took those arpeggios and just re... They moved through the chord progression and sh moved through arpeggios and oh my god, it's so impressive. It's effective. And then they started soloing together. Come on! Like, sorry, I get, I'll get off my teacher high horse, but I want to go back and listen to that because, yes. And see, listen carefully. There's got to be a hard support underlay, and that's over all arpeggios. All arpeggios in the key signature. Arpeggios with some mo different motion, with a little interplay. 
Unless that's like in their pedal board. But that's so cool. Yes. Man, I love watching hammer-ons. Keep going. I love the Tito movement. Woo! I love the unison. Da 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 da. That. Oh my god, that double pedal hits you right in the heart. Yes. Yes. Oh, God. What I actually love about this, so it's actually quite telling with the, like, the name of the song. I don't mean this in a s style meaning clothing or, like, a representation or whatever, but it's a very gothic. And what I mean by gothic is, like, if you look up the definition of gothic style, um, meaning, like, architecture and musical style like we had a lot of minor like we were in the minor key obviously but like we were moving between da da di di there was a lot of half step cadences that it just created this darker feeling it, it's very unique of the gothic style i guess and the use of baroque instruments makes it even more unnerving it's it's so cool like listening and hearing just a little bit of the harpsichord in the background like that was a great touch the instrumentalists are extremely extremely well talented i don't know how y'all do it that double pedal man like I would be exhausted. I can't imagine like moving my feet like that. Drum set was the wor my worst skill in percussion methods. So fun fact, but this was a good, this is so good. Another great suggestion from the community. So if you'd like to continue this conversation, feel free to leave a comment down below. What do you know about Unlucky Morpheus? What do you love? about Unlucky Morpheus. Have you ever seen Unlucky Morpheus live? Have they even toured in the US? Tell me what you think I missed and tell me what you heard. I always love to just see what you guys hear versus what I hear. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>